Child care rebates, changes to pensions and small business tax cuts have been put front and centre in this year's federal budget, but we're heading for a deficit of $35 billion this year. And many of the changes won't come into place until 2017. So how will it affect our household budgets? Tonight we're giving you the chance to get your questions answered by our team of experts from PwC. Tracy Vo is at our budget headquarters in the city tonight with all the advice. Yeah, that's right, Tim. I'm joined by managing partner Justin Carroll. Good evening, Justin. Let's cut through all the politics and give everyday Australians the answers that they need. We've got the first one here from Jason Clare. We are a double income family with three kids and don't pay any childcare. Will we lose family tax benefit payments? Well, Tracy, there's no question that the government are, are looking to link reductions in the family tax benefits to this new childcare package, this $3.5 billion. So they're really looking to incentivise families uh, for greater participation in the workforce. Those families who are um, earning less than $65,000 will have up to 85% of the cost of childcare subsidised. Up to $170,000 in income will result in a 50% uh, rebate on childcare. Mm. Uh, and that actually continues beyond $185,000 of income. Mm. Speaking about childcare, we've got this one from Jaylene Walsh. My son is in childcare one day a week and I am my partner's full-time carer. Will that affect childcare costs? Yes, well in addition to the income test, the means testing on uh, the childcare benefits, they're also an activity test. Mm. But for those parents who aren't working, there's up to 24 hours of subsidised uh, childcare. So up to 85% of the costs of those should be available depending on the income. So certainly different for different situations. Absolutely. Yes. Let's move on to bank deposits. Colleen and Warren Pearson have asked, is the new tax on bank deposits the same as the old tax and will it be tax deductible? Well, there's a lot of speculation before the budget as to whether there would be a tax on deposits. Nothing we heard tonight from the Treasurer indicated that there would be a tax, which is great news. Yes, very good news indeed. Mm -hmm. Small business. Amy Strom, what are the tax breaks for small business about? Well, there's a lot of a lot of benefits to small businesses announced by the Treasurer this evening. Uh, primarily for small businesses, turnover up to $2 million mm -hmm. that operate through companies, they have a 1.5% tax benefit. So corporate tax rate for them only 28.5%. Capital purchases up to $20,000 will now be deductible outright against income. Mm -hmm. Um, they're also making it uh, much easier for company, for businesses who are not operating through companies mm. to also avail themselves of up to $1,000 worth of uh, tax breaks as well. Mm. There's been some concern over the disability pension. Anthony Kerman sent this one in to us. Will it affect disability pensioners and how? The focus on the pension has really been about the age pension. Mm. So the government is staring down the barrel of uh, a blowout, if you like, in pen age pension payments. So we've heard nothing on disability pensions, which is great. But of course, there have been some tweaks to the eligibility of the age pension in tonight's yeah, budget. Absolutely. Mm. Let's move on to paid parental leave scheme. I mean, that's been a big issue for the federal government. Workers um, can no longer claim maternity benefits from both their employer and the government. What does this mean? Yes, well, people will have heard this referred to as the double dipping. And what the government is really saying is that if your employer provide you with paid parental leave, mm. then you're not able to avail yourself of the government's paid parental leave scheme. It does, it does remain as a safety net, so for those employees whose employers don't provide them with a paid parental leave scheme, they'll still be able to access 18 weeks of paid parental leave at the minimum wage, which works out at about $11,500. Right, we'll have to leave it there, Justin, but thank you so much for your expertise tonight. It's not over here for the PWC team. They will be endeavouring to answer all your questions on our Facebook page, so make sure you keep a look out on that. But certainly a busy night still at PWC. Emmy?